<laughs> and we'll talk about this Saturday night, people. Seven to nine, that beautiful art park that they've established there at the Turner Center for the Arts is going to be the perfect setting for the Swanee River Keepers, the Watershed Coalition, all the, the efforts that they make for their waterways, and that songwriter contest. And he's just putting it up. He's putting up the updated flyer. I have the old flyer. Mm -hmm. He actually sent me the updated version, and I did not put it out yet. Now I have it as well. The third annual Swanee River Keeper Songwriter Contest. Thank you to Georgia Beer Company. Thank you to so many of the volunteers and Johnny to put on that headset. Um, we're set to go as well this morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Well, it's a pleasure to be here in the Swanee River Keeper Radio. <laughs> as we go this morning. Listen. Um, I'll look ahead to the weekend. Saturday, scattered thunderstorms. They're not calling them afternoon, so they could be cleared out. By the time we get started from 7 until 9, I'll do my level best as MC of this event to keep it flowing, to keep it moving forward. I'll be the guy under the cover of that beautiful little thing <laughs> that they have built. Um, but uh, I, I expect a lot of people coming out and enjoying that event. Yeah, we're actually bringing, bringing a couple of tents. You can be under one of them. Good, good. I'll, I'll step off to the side as five different people compete for the top prize, and we get entertained by a believed dirty bird in the flu. That's right. Local stars. Yep, and and they'll be running sound too. So good, good. That's bonus. right. That's right. All right. So that's the evening. Ten bucks is what they're asking if you're not a Walls member, correct? Correct. Or twelve dollars at the door. You can pay now online. It's only ten dollars. That's the better deal. Mm -hmm. So come on out, set up some uh, fold up, folding chairs and, and enjoy yourself. Whatever you want to set up as your space, because there's so much space out there in that big parking lot, mm -hmm. some of the grass off to the side and otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yes, please bring your own chair. We will have some chairs and some tables, but if you can bring your own, that's great. All right. Uh, please, people, it's for a great cause, the great work that the Swanee River Keepers do. Um, to make our waterways enjoyable, pristine, clean, from, for not just us, but for those that receive them to our south as well. That yeah. is their passion. Yeah. We spend a lot of time working on that, and uh, naturally it's at the bottom of the heap. <laughs> uh, I believe you've seen this thing that we've done, which is the current situation of water quality. We've been working on this for some time, and we compliment the city of Valdosta for cleaning up its act. Thank you. And certain things that, I, that I'll go ahead and tell you, um, shockingly, um, you're right about. The more we uh -huh. test, the more we know. Mm. The more we know, the more we can identify, the more we can identify, we can all concentrate our efforts on, the, on some of the remaining problems. I won't say mm -hmm. we were the real problem for a while. Uh, yep, yep. And we hope you're not again. Nope, I hope I hope never again, but I can't say never because there's always going to be a grease trap or, a, or, or something. There's always going to be fog, mm -hmm. which is fats, oils, and greases backing up. We fight that every single day. We send out warnings every single day. We send out um, informational. Um, and then everybody that ever sets up a business license now gets quite an education on that mm -hmm. as well. And then traps. Grease traps are a requirement now to do, do business in the city of Valdosta. So there's things we're moving on. We hope solve some of the smaller problems, the major problems we think we've addressed. All that's all that's to say that we're that's an ongoing effort and will never leave tier one for me. You know that, right? And uh, this one's harder to see, but uh, we got all the DNA marker and chemical tracer information from the state of Florida, Florida Department of Environmental Protection has been collecting this uh, for some time. And um, in the matchup between human DNA and ruminant DNA, the ruminants are winning. No. And ruminant meaning ruminants, other animals. <laughs> uh, the ones that chew their cud with uh, that kind of stomach, and, which includes deer and goats, but which is not enough deer and goats out there to cause the kind of numbers we see from time to time. The only thing that's numerous enough is cattle. And we know there's more than 10,000 cattle in Brooks, in, uh, in Brooks County, Georgia. Now, fortunately, the owners of many of those cows are helping with this. They want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Fantastic news. Yeah. But that's an example, a big example of what you were talking about. More testing, the more we find out. And the more awareness we bring to it. And again, maybe there was a whole lot of I did not know that. Um, even in that business, but uh, oh yeah, they, they didn't know till I brought it to them. 
Beautiful job. But then they want to be part of the solution. So you can find us on walls.net, www.als.net. Look on our Facebook page, uh, Twitter, Instagram, you'll find it. Let me tell you what else. When, when you support the, the group that's behind us there, the Swanee River Keepers, when you support that group and their efforts, it's, it goes toward testing, it goes toward a, a bunch of other stuff. But let me tell you a project that uh, we're working in, and kind of in its infancy, but John worked it uh, like it, just a yeoman's effort last year. An application for a grant, and we were chasing a kind of a river camp. Um, that river camp um, could blossom into something closer to a state park. Yep. If, if all our efforts and probably about 20, 20 plus people that have been on those Zoom meetings with us mm -hmm. um, continue to roll downhill. It's just one of those things where Lowndes County has no state park. Mm -hmm. We're the first county in the state of Georgia mm -hmm. by Y75. We would love that kind of recreational activity. To, uh, to take foot uh, take a foothold here and people it's a, it's quite a possibility right this would be at the site of old Troopville if you head west from the mall cross first the Withcoochee River then when you see Valtech Road turn left instead of right and you go down to the Troopville boat ramp and the land from there all the way down to the confluence of the Little River with the Withcoochee is for sale the landowner is heavily involved in these discussions the idea is to make a river park with a river camp with screened in sleeping platforms, bathrooms with air conditioning, hot and cold running water, plus hiking trails, biking trails, possibly disc golf. And there's talk of an outfitter at the boat ramp. Listen, and why is that land so affordable? Because she wants it preserved. She's a fourth generation owner That's right. of that of that land and wants it to, as a preserve, as a matter of fact. So that would be the perfect. It cobbled together with what we already own is about right at 100 acres. Well, I think it's about 123, actually. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. For all of us to enjoy, hopefully forevermore. Um, we're trying to uh, influence the state right now. That's right. As well. And if we, if we bring them into that Zoom meeting this coming Friday, the third in a row, they'll be impressed, um, mm -hmm. A, by, by how much effort's already been put in and by how many passionate people are involved in this mm -hmm. project. That's right. We've got uh, Lowndes County, Valdosta, Parks and Rec, Tourism Authority, um, the Development Authority, and, um, um, uh, and of course the landowner and Walls and uh, SGRC and the Swanee River Water Management District. And don't worry, we'll be inviting Brooks County, Madison, Hamilton, Cook and Qualcomm. Yeah, and for some hand-holding, you've invited in some, some Florida people that are involved in some of these, these type of river camps down the road. Yeah, Edwin McCook of the Swanee River Water Management District, he basically invented the whole river camp idea. There's five of these things on the Swanee. And this will be the first one in Georgia if we get this set up there at Troopville, just west of El Dustin. So we had to do this thing in proper order. First, we had to get the waterways clean enough to enjoy. That's right. <laughs> and then we could chase a great project like this, and that project will bring even more attention to the waterways and uh, we can put even more um, resources to work doing it. So I see I see that end goal as well, John. Oh yeah, good, good. All right, but they can't do it without all of our help. The third annual Swanee Riverkeeper Songwriter Contest is coming up this Saturday from seven to nine, right beside the Turner Center and actually part of the Turner Center, that beautiful art park that they just built is the perfect stage mm -hmm. for five songwriters to go head to head. That's right. First, we'll hear Dirty Bird and the Flu for 30 minutes. Then each of the three judges will sing a song. They're all songwriters, too. I didn't know that. That's true. Each of the three judges. And then the five contestants. And in the meantime, we will have talks about some of the kind of stuff that you heard. And, um, and elected officials, as I was telling your previous guest, get to speak for three minutes. He promises he won't sing. I'm going to, I'm going to try to get him to sing. We need some comic relief. No. I, I promise not to sing. And uh, there will be an online silent auction, and we'll be raffling off a kayak. The drawing will be in December, but we'll be selling tickets. And um, it'll be a fun festival. We'll come out and hear some live music. What kind of kayak are we, we competing for? Uh, it's actually exactly the same model as last time. We bought two at the same time so that we could uh, do that. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Um, I promise to be apolitical and just focus on our, our blue ways, our, our waterways, and, and nature in general, since that's the focus of the songwriter contest. Right. Well, as a title on C3, we can neither support nor oppose any particular candidate for office, fortunately. Oh, I'm not running for anything. <laughs> but issues are good. I mean, uh, and you know, the elected officials can speak about anything they want. Just remember, it is a festival. We're just trying to celebrate the waterways and the music thereof. Beautiful, and that's uh, what every song has to uh, be um, 
about, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Uh, uh, it can be any river, creek, swamp, pond, spring, or sink in the Swanee River Basin. But we, we have a song about the Okefenokee, we have a song about the Whip the Coochie, we have a song about the Swanee. So, you know, it's, it's pretty widespread. All right, and people, the great outdoors are calling you. It's a way to socially distance and enjoy our beautiful, beautiful, uh, uh, so so much land. So nature's calling you. You 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 don't know how to how to get out in it. The boat ramps and otherwise you're just not familiar with. Get get hooked up with these guys, and they'll include you in every paddle they have. Right at the art park, we will be requiring masks as you go up to the food truck. That's uh, Rico's Tacos will be having food or to the uh, poorhouse where they'll be serving drinks or to our tables where we'll have information. But we'll have everybody spaced out where if you're sitting with your group, you don't have to wear a mask because you came with them. And uh, it should be fun. There's plenty of room out there at the art park, and we will have a deputy there watching to be sure nobody wanders in who hasn't been tested with our infrared thermometer to be sure nobody's got a fever. Or didn't pay 10 bucks. <laughs> well, yeah, there is that. Or 12 bucks, sorry, day off. Yeah. All right, so listen, people, that's exactly the responsible way to walk through life. Basically, what he's saying, anytime you head to where you might cluster or gather um, in, in more than uh, more than the people you came with, you mask up. That's it. That's your walk through life. You don't need it in the great outdoors, but the second you start to congregate or can't control that six feet or more in distance, mask up. Mm -hmm. It's the responsible way to go through life right now until we get a handle on this thing. And listen, it's working. I want to first first say um, socially distance, mask up, hand washing, and cleaning high touch surfaces. Mm -hmm. But after that, I want to say thank you. Because we sat for almost three solid weeks somewhere in that 70 plateau, as high as 74 at one time, for people hospitalized at South Georgia Medical Center with COVID-19. I mean, that's worse. That, I mean, that's a bad outcome by the time you're bad enough off to go there. We're down to 39 today. We've gone 13 straight days of decline, and I'm hoping it's a trend. I'm hoping the movement towards school or the university students coming back, but please mask up. Continue to do so. They told us at the beginning of this mask up campaign that we could get 80% compliance in, in, in closed service, or in closed spaces that we can cut this thing in half, and I'll be darned, 74 to 39 is pretty close to that number, and, and we hope for, for good news today at, at 9 a.m. again. So thank you is all I can say at this point. All right, and um, as he was saying, we have a bunch of outings coming up. And once you're on the water, it's no problem keeping far enough apart. Our only complication is we usually do a shuttle. You, you take your boats down to the put-in and you drive to the takeout and then cram people into Oh, we can't do it anymore. <laughs> but um, we got one coming up on the Suwannee River on uh, August 29th, which is a biking paddle. Because the river makes a big turn, but there's a straight road in between. So to get back to the put-in, we'll get on bicycles and ride back. How about that? And there's also optional camping if you want to do that to make it into a two day. And then on September 2nd, back out of Banks Lake near Lakeland, we're doing the full moon again. We'll go out, paddle out on the Banks Lake, watch the sunset and the moon rise. And um, we're doing a cleanup at Barron Beach on the Alapaha River on September 12th. And also on August 29th, I think I'm the one that accidentally scheduled it the same day as the bike and paddle. I believe we're going to be doing a cleanup in Valdosta on Two Mile Branch, One Mile Branch, and Sugar Creek. Fantastic. Um, come, on, come on the Three Mile Branch. That's back behind my house. Uh, okay, if you're willing to help uh, host it, we can do that. We'll, we'll get down there. I'll have to cut a new path that's already overgrown to get back in there. But yeah, we'll do that in the near future. I, I just won't, I won't burden you on that day. Sugar Creek, One Mile Branch, and Two Mile Branch is, is enough. That's a good start. Oh, yeah. And Scotty Jay, who's one of our uh, lead testers, uh, he and Sarah Jay will be out there helping with this, and I'll be there too. I don't know how I'm going to be on the Swanee at the same time. I'll figure out how to teleport or something. Fantastic. Help their efforts, people. Help their efforts with the third annual Swanee River Keeper Songwriter Contest this Saturday from 7 to 9. Um, the prizes that those great songwriters are competing for, 300 bucks for first and uh, on down. But come on out and hear some great entertainment. Dirty Bird and the Flu, mm -hmm. then the three judges, then the five people competing in the songwriters contest as well as this is the third annual. 
It's already done. And thank you to George Beer Company for being our top tier sponsor. Our new Walls president, Tommy Johnson Jr., and I went out to Georgia Beer Thursday and picked up a check for $1,000. Thank you, George Beer Company. The Georgia beer is flowing much like the river, people. Come on out and have a great time this Saturday. The third annual Swanee Riverkeeper Songwriter Contest. I'll be emceeing it just a lot of fun throughout the night. John, thank you for all your efforts every day. Thank you. He's tireless, people. All right, quick break. We'll turn it over to news and sports. The Jack Ring and Spencer Van Horn. We're Talk 92.1.